You deserve to get ready in a bathroom that looks deluxe and feels uncluttered. And even if you don't have a lot of extra time or money, I'm gonna show you how to get there. The first area we're gonna talk about in our bathrooms are daily use or really frequently used items. These are the beehive areas of our bathroom. These things need to be easily accessible and they need to not take a lot of time to put away. Probably the most important small bathroom organizing hack is to really evaluate what items you use on an everyday basis. Take a few minutes and lay those out on a counter. Make sure they're the essentials that you love and go to every single day. Secondly, take stock of the area that you have. Now, my husband and I are lucky enough to have this large drawer, and after I configured it, it was enough space for us to put all those items we use every single morning. This overdoor basket is a great place to keep simple cleaning supplies. This way you can wipe up frequently and you don't have to take a lot of time to do a deep clean. If you like to store jewelry in your bathroom, try using ice cube trays, especially for smaller earrings. They're great dividers, they're inexpensive, and you can stack them one on top of the other to make the most of your space. If you like to shop at Dollar Tree, here are a few of my personal care and bathroom favorites. I love using Dollar Tree soap at a bargain price. I've never had a problem with any type of skin reaction, but please check this on your skin first. The second thing I love from Dollar Tree is this moisture eliminator. You're going to wanna make sure you remove that aluminum covering and then put it under your sink or anywhere you wanna keep moisture at bay. The third thing I love is our jelly spirals and shower combs. These are a fraction of the price you would pay elsewhere. And my favorite loofah is this loofah towel that you can throw in the washing machine. I also always buy my hairbrushes at Dollar Tree. You can find almost any type of hairbrush for any hair texture, and they are so much less expensive. I love the Dollar Tree toothpaste. I've talked a lot about this Colgate that you never have to worry about making a mess. And of course, toothbrushes. You can buy brand name or generic toothbrushes to keep on hand for guests. While you're at Dollar Tree, if you take daily medications, these are my favorite pill organizers. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to use them. If you don't wanna use them for medications, you can soak off those days of the week decals by using some acetone nail polish remover and resting that on a little powder puff on top and then it'll come right off. I've often used these for earrings and other small items I keep in my bathroom, and I mounted these on the inside of my medicine cabinet with Velcro strips. I'm Shannon, and this is Skip to My Life, where I love to talk about how to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget. Comment below if this is your first time here and let me know how you found out about us. Now there's been a little bit of chatter in this group about whether or not it's okay to keep medications in the bathroom. So if you prefer to keep your daily medications in the kitchen or somewhere else, here is an organizing hack for you. Use a Dollar Tree 8x10 frame or one that you already have and glue these medicine containers with the tabs coming downward. Now you're gonna have to make sure they're all laid out correctly before you glue them on or your medicines are just gonna fall out. So take a little bit of time and make sure that's correct. Once you do that, this is so simple. You're just gonna glue these to the glass and then hang them wherever it's easiest for you to remember to take those medications. Of course, you can also use that stand on the back if you prefer to leave them on a table. So many of you have told me that you just have no cabinet or storage space in your bathroom. So here is a little shelf system from Ikea. It's very inexpensive and I found it in the kids section if you're an Ikea shopper. This is just very simple wood and you can paint it whatever color matches your decor. It's a great place to store frequently used daily items, perfumes, or anything else that you want to display. My goal in this episode is to inspire you and give you lots of ideas to get your bathroom finally organized. And it may be something as simple as just replacing a worn out laundry hamper or trash can. That can make all the difference. Next, let's talk about the bathroom under sink area and how to make the very most of that limited storage. And you know what? Even if you don't have an under sink cabinet, I have a great idea for storage. If you have an under sink area that looks like this one, you are not alone. This is actually my under sink. And I am telling you that if you have a messy under sink area, the best thing you can do is take absolutely everything out and see it with fresh eyes. 
especially in bathroom areas, it's really important to lay down some type of water protective barrier on that surface. And then it's really nice to have a little light. Now I show you all different kinds of under sink lights. This is one from Dollar Tree. It's a little toggle switch that works with batteries. So yes, you do have to remember to turn this on and off. It does have batteries. And Bella is here to say a few shout outs to your fur babies. Having light in this area makes such a big difference and I find that when I can see what's under there, it's much easier for me to put things back where they belong. I get a lot of feedback about using plastic containers in organizing, but for me, the bathroom is the perfect place for these kinds of containers because they're not going to get ruined by moisture and also they're not a hazard with glass. So as you can see here, I have used a two-tier system using Dollar Tree baskets as well as trays from the party section. One of you asked me this week if I had stopped making current videos and I recommended that she make sure she subscribed and also has that bell turned on because the YouTube algorithm does not always send you my latest videos. It will only do it if you're subscribed and you have that bell on. So make sure that you do that if you want to receive the latest content from Skip to My Life. In the bottom basket, I'm keeping my overstock and things that I don't use as often. And then in those top baskets and in the bins, I am storing things that I use very frequently. For those of you who have absolutely no bathroom storage, this three-tier cart from Michaels is a great solution. You may want to try it out by clicking on the link I'm providing below. And this could be the solution for you to keep everything organized and in place in your bathroom. Next, let's talk about how to store backstock in the bathroom. Now, backstock is just a fancy name for items that you use on an everyday basis, and if you ran out of them, you would have to make a special trip to the store. There are things like toilet tissue, cosmetics, soap, frequently used personal items. So you want to have some of this on extra in your bathroom, and I'm going to show you some simple ideas of how to store these things. If you really wanna take advantage of hidden storage in your bathroom, especially for items that you don't get to frequently, consider mounting some shelves, especially up on the top of your wall. My husband found this bracket and shelf system at Lowe's. It's a Rubbermaid system. It was very inexpensive, but yet really sturdy. So it's gonna hold a reasonable amount of weight. Now, he is the kind of guy that when he does something, he does it to last. So he made sure that these were all mounted together before he put them up on the wall. And you'll see the final project here. This picture kind of summarizes our relationship. I'm the goofy one and he's the serious one most of the time, but I really appreciate his hard work in doubling the storage in the space. When I measured where these shelves should go, I did it using containers from Walmart. Now these are my favorites. They're under $5. They sell all different colors. They sell a cloth type, but they also are now carrying this vinyl type that looks like a wood. And I would recommend that if you have a high moisture area like a bathroom, and I'll show you how that works. Over time, the cloth boxes started to look a little bit dingy, so I replaced them with this wood look vinyl covered box. And let me tell you, one of these boxes actually holds 12 rolls of toilet paper. This is where I store all of my extra, you know, get ready accessories, Q-tips, cotton balls, and things like this. And no one really notices they're there. If you're not feeling adventurous enough to mount a shelf, here's another idea that's super simple and inexpensive. Buy two planter boxes from Dollar Tree, along with two of those oblong trays. Simply stack those on top of each other and place them on the top of a cabinet or another space in your bathroom. I have tried to pack all kinds of ideas into this episode for you, and I'm hoping that you can come back to it again and again for new ideas and inspiration in getting your bathroom organized. If you would like 14 pages of free household labels and you'd like to be included on my free weekly email newsletter where I tell you all the behind the scenes going on and more and more ideas, then click on the link below and you'll be subscribed.
One of the biggest problems in a smaller bathroom is counter clutter. Now, this is a tough one to solve because our things that we use on a daily basis come in all different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna show you lots of different ideas and you can adapt them to your situation. My first idea is just to use a travel case. Now, go ahead and invest in one that's sturdy enough to use every day and I will link to this one below. And you can put everything that you need to get ready in the morning and then tuck it away under the sink when you're finished. This will help you clear that counter clutter. Make great use of the inside of cabinet doors by installing these Lucite containers with removable strips. These are from Dollar Tree and you can configure them to hold whatever it is you need. I store my makeup brushes there. Sometimes I'll put my hairbrush in here, my eyelash curler, things that I can just reach down and get and they're not cluttering my counters. If you like the look of Lucite, but you don't want to spend a fortune on it, there's a store called Daiso you can find in some areas that carries these similar Lucite containers. Dollar Tree also has a lot of these types of items at their store, and I just glued together a configuration that worked for me. Now I have something beautiful instead of makeup cluttering my counter. This month is all about bathroom redo, so you're going to want to keep watching every episode this month if you're ready to really get your bathroom organized and decluttered. Sometimes it's as simple as just using a tray to corral all those items you use every day. Well, now we get to the fun part of bathroom organizing, and that is decor. Our bathrooms need to refresh us because we spend a lot of time there and usually it's the beginning and the end of our day. So here are some really cost effective and easy ways to add simple decor to your bathroom area. Next time you're at Walmart, check out their art. I have found some beautiful pieces like this butterfly print for under $20. Sometimes it's the little things like shower curtain rings. I know that mine were very dingy and once I replaced them, it added a whole new freshness and clean look to my bathroom. Make your small bathroom look larger by choosing a very light colored monochromatic shower curtain, nothing with busy prints or darkness. And take a look at the light fixtures in your bathroom. If you have something that's a very dark color, that is going to make your small bathroom look more like a cave. So one simple hack is just to go ahead and paint any light fixtures that are dark or replace them. Now make sure that you're using paint that is heat appropriate. Painting over that dark light fixture not only brought light to our bathroom, but it actually made the light appear brighter as it was reflected on the lighter surface. Now you don't have to spend a lot to create beautiful custom art for your bathroom. This was a plank that I literally found on the curb at trash day. I sanded it, I painted it the same color as that light fixture. Then I used the free design app called Canva to design the graphics and I just trace those on the board. If you have a couple stained or dinged areas on your wall or your medicine cabinet, try taping it off and painting it in a contrasting color. Even if you're renting, these small kinds of paint changes are easy to paint over when it's time to move. If you're not a fan of paint, there are so many peel and stick removable wallpapers available. This is some that's offered at Walmart. And if you don't like a whole roll of it, they have little accent pieces that are so easy to put up in your bathroom. I decided I wanted a focal wall in our bathroom, so I didn't have to paint the whole space, just one wall. And I was able to create something that looked like barn planks just by making stripes and then stippling them across that wall. If you have a set of bath towels that you really love, but they've started to look a little dingy, here is a cost saving hack for you. You'll find a huge selection of Rit dyes at Hobby Lobby. That is the spot that I found the biggest selection. And they also have different dyes for different types of fabrics. So follow the instructions on the package and you can take your towels from looking dingy like these white ones to really beautiful high-end new looking towels. 
Let me know which of these ideas was your very favorite. I would love to have you join us in the monthly membership group where I walk you through organization projects month by month throughout your house. And I hope that you remember, my friends, that today is not the end of your story. So please do not give up.